All right, uh, so let's, uh, let's get to this uh, review. Uh, this is uh, for Oliver Magnum's self-titled uh, debut album that was released in 1989. Now, Oliver Magnum is uh, pretty not too known, but they are definitely known uh, for having the song Old World Nights being appeared on one of the Metal Massacres. Um, and uh, that, and they did get signed to like... Uh, uh, Colossal Records, Restless Records, and were also their CD copy was even released through New Renaissance Records. So you definitely had uh, quite a bit of record labels that released this, especially when it comes to underground metal. But Oliver Magnum are definitely U.S. power metal, definitely with James Randall, definitely having a real good, you know, that type of voice, and that uh, Monte Humphrey uh, having a, you know, definitely the guitar work and everything. Um, this album is definitely very good, uh, but as far as the backstory, like uh, looking up, apparently, according to Metal Archives, it's being rumored that the band had won a battle of the bands, which led them uh, to getting us, you know, uh, you know, to record their first demo, which of course had an early version of Old World Nights, that which I guess that version would later appear on the Metal Massacre, and, it, and that demo had got uh, critically acclaimed reviews back in that day. So that's definitely some inter interesting pieces, but again, that's said to be a rumor, so, and since it's from the Metal Archives, yeah, you probably need to take that with at least a bit of a grain of salt before you actually do some, uh, you know, that, and apparently it's being said that even the band uh, kind of, they said that the demo had sold pretty well, like 200 cop, 2,000 copies, I guess they said, or two quite a bit of copies were sold. I guess that's how many copies they sold, I don't know how many copies were pressed. I should have written that down. But uh, let's just get into to the album. Uh, album starts up with Sister Cybele. Great way to get it, you definitely get the feel of that man. It definitely starts out very fast, heavy, and powerful. Uh, then we get uh, the last uh, Prophet. Definitely keep it going. Uh, let me get Old World Nights, which was the track that appeared in one of the Metal Massacres. A uh, good track. Um, but there's definitely some other good songs on here that I really did like. Uh, Evolution I really dug as well. Uh, Trapped. Uh, Mendes Prey uh, is probably the track that I also pretty dug as well. Definitely had some... Definitely there, there's some riff progressions. There's some melodic stuff as well. At times it even can go goes into... Well, not, not Queensryche territory, but those goes into there. At times, maybe like similar to maybe um, um, Savage Grace's um, shit. Um, uh, fuck. Damn it. After the fall from grace. After the fall from grace. Uh, definitely, it's very similar to that as well, but uh, other than that, it's definitely got some of that sound. Uh, then let's get to uh, the, uh, we got an instrumental on here titled, uh, Tongue Tied. Not a sh your typical shred basting track. No, uh, shred serbation, something like that. It's not that. It's definitely more, um, just guitar, bass, drums, and just maybe some guitar shredding here and there just to go along with the track. That's pretty much what it is, just a good track. Definitely not just a guitar solo. Uh, then we get uh, Silent Scream Prelude to Death, which is around seven minutes long, and this is just a fucking great track. It definitely uh, starts off slow and going, it, it's just a riff Riff progression and uh, just all around a great way to end the album. 
Uh, other than that, this is definitely a good album nonetheless. Everything about this is definitely solid. It's definitely got some strong points. It's all around a solid album. Uh, this one ended up being the last uh, full-length album for the band. Uh, I know they released some several things after this, but they're mostly like demos. So... <sighs> God, no more Thunder Bombs. Uh, then again, uh, let, uh, let's just go. Uh, it's, so, you have it like that. That's definitely good album all around. There's some great tracks on here. And um, it, 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 it's a fine album. It's definitely an enjoyable uh, listen from start to finish. Um, you have it. So, if you have heard Oliver Magnum's debut album, what are your thoughts? If you have any thoughts, you can post your comments down below. It's time to get on to the next one.